Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with your casual keyboard guy. Um, today's lesson is going to be on a song titled In the Air by Destin Conrad. Um, this song was uh, requested by my subscriber, um, uh, Janaya. Hope I'm saying that right, Janaya. Uh, thank you for the donation, my friend. And uh, we're going to look at this song today. Now, this song uh, really only has about three four chords in the song but it's like a loop that they do um it's basically just two parts to the loop um so i'm gonna, I'm gonna play it through a little bit and of course y'all know me we'll break it down break it down remember like share subscribe show your boys some love in the comments um and let's uh let's keep this music train rolling so um let's see <laughs> much the loop so let me uh, break down these chords and then i'll show you like the past the patterns that they doing so basically uh <clears throat> they're starting off with this f minor nine so you got an f in the bass a flat c e flat and g in the right okay that's the first chord f minor nine then it goes to a c minor nine so you got a C in the bass, E flat, G, B flat, and D. All right. Second chord, C minor nine. Basically, it's like you know. It's like the first couple measures. So you got that chord, so you got the F minor 9, A flat, C, E flat, G, and again, C minor 9, C, E flat, G, B flat, D. All right. So the next chord, like I said, I'm showing you the chord before I show you the real the timing. So the next chord is going to be G7, sharp 5, sharp 9. So you got a G in the bass, you got a B, E flat, F, and B flat on top. Okay. G in the bass, B, E flat, F, B flat. I'm oh, sorry, B, B natural, E flat, F, and then B flat. Alrighty. That's the next chord. Okay. And then the last chord is going to be A flat 9, major 9. Alright. So you got a G, B flat, C, E flat, with the A flat in the bass. A flat major nine, A flat, G, B flat, C, E flat. So the last two chords that you have to learn is this nice chord, G, B, E flat, F, B. Let me say G, B, E flat, F, B flat. Okay, that then. A flat major nine, A flat, G, B flat, C, E flat. Okay, so essentially that's the only spot. Uh, chords to this song and they just put it in a nice pattern um so let me show you the pattern so you got So 
but let me uh let me give you that first pattern. Uh, let me get let me just hold this for a while. So like I said, essentially the same chords, so it's just like getting that that timing. So I wish I had a drum beat to, to give you like a better example. Let me see if I can count it. Let me see. One, three, two, three, one, two, three. All right, let me see if I can count it. Let me see how that would work. So. Let me see. Let me listen to the record. Let me see when it's coming in at the same time. So the first pattern, I'm gonna try to count it so you can hear it. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that first pattern, I just trying to count it because it's like you got like I mean once you have the chord you kind of got this vibe with it, but I'm trying to give you exactly where the chord comes in there. So I'm gonna try to count it four so you can hear it. So I'm gonna do it again. This one is a little bit faster, so you got the one, you hit this on the one, two, three, four. All right, so let me do it again. Pretty much the time. That's as slow as I can play it. I could teach that part. Now the bass is moving around a little bit, but um, you know that's a that's a that's a, that's a it might be even a a guy playing key bass too because the way it sounds is like they are using like a um maybe like a MIDI keyboard and doing like some key bass on that. But um, yeah, so that's uh, and they just pretty much using like the uh, usually when you hear like bass rolling like that, so if they playing that minor nine right here, they probably just going like. 
might be doing like a like a pentatonic, minor pentatonic or something. But uh, I don't know. I didn't really get a chance to listen to the bass, but. If you want some funky bass line, hit me up, you know, hit me up in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you some extra, maybe I'll send you a private video about some bass moves that you could do in this song, but essentially that's the whole song. So hopefully that you didn't take you that long to learn this. It's only really about four chords. So hopefully you enjoyed that lesson. Casual keyboard guy signing off. Like, share, subscribe. Show your boys some love. Peace.